Friends, the given problem is show that integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta d theta into integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta by square root of sin theta d theta value is pi. Okay. Friends, you see, to prove this one, we will use uh, the application of beta of m comma n based on uh, that is in the uh, expression of uh, trigonometric functions. Especially, we have to know the formula of integral 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power of p theta into d theta value. The value is here gamma of p plus 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 divided by 2 times of gamma of p plus 2 by 2. So friends, you have to remember this formula. If you know this formula, then only you can do. Sir, I don't know this formula. How can I remember? Means we have a formula. Which formula we have means integral 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power of p theta cos to the power of q theta d theta is equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 gamma of q plus 1 by 2 by 2 times of gamma of p plus q plus 2 by 2. Of course, this formula is also, I will tell you, integral 0 to pi by 2, sin to the power of 2m minus 1 theta, cos to the power of 2n minus 1 theta, d theta is equal to, we have the relation between beta and gamma, that is gamma m, gamma n by gamma of m plus n, that is it. So, here you have, you see, 2m minus 1 is equal to p, that is it, and uh, n is equal to 0, and uh, 2n is equal to 1. So, nothing but n is equal to 1 by 2. Here you see, if I substituted here, 2m minus 1 is equal to p. Nothing but 2m is equal to p plus 1. Okay, that is m is equal to what? p plus 1 by 2. m, okay. Next, uh, 2n minus 1 is equal to, is there any cos term here? No, cos power 0 you can say. But we have here cos power 2n minus 1. 2n minus 1 is equal to 0. So, 2n is equal to 1. So, n is equal to what? 1 by 2. Now, substitute, substitute these m and n values in relation between beta and gamma. So, what is the beta gamma relation? Gamma m, gamma n by gamma of m plus n. What is this here? p plus 1 by 2. You see? p plus 1 by 2. Next, gamma 1 by 2. Gamma 1 by 2. p plus, you see here, p plus 1 by 2, gamma 1 by 2. By, here you have gamma of m plus n. m plus n is nothing but p plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Nothing but here, uh, by 2 here you have, then totally you will have a, here, gamma of p plus 2 by 2. But this is 2 times of beta of m comma n. 2 times of beta of m comma n this is. Is it clear for everyone? Okay now. So, this is the how it is. How you can remember this problem. Is it clear? This formula. This formula. So, now from this you have to solve this one. If you don't know this, by using this you find out. Right friends? Now, what I have to solve? The given problem is integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta d theta. Okay. In this case, what I have to do? Convert into integral 0 to pi by 2 sin p t t sin p sin theta power p d theta form. Nothing but uh, in place of p here you have 1 by 2. Here in place of p here you have minus 1 by 2. That's it. Substitute these values in this. Then you will have pi. Okay. So, I have written in general form. So, now you substitute p is equal to 1 by 2. That's it. Next, in this case, p is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, if you are substituted p is equal to 1 by 2, then you see gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1. 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by 2 times of p plus 2. p is nothing but 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 2 is nothing but 2 and half. That is 5 by 2. 5 by 2 by 2 is nothing but 5 by 4. That's it. Dot means into minus 1 by 2. So, minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is nothing but plus half. Plus half by 2 is nothing but 1 by 4. Gamma 1 by 4. Next, gamma 1 by 2 by 2 times half. Gamma, this is minus 1 by 2 plus 2. Nothing but 3 by 2. By 2 is nothing but 3 by 4. Now, you have to simplify this. You see, denominator gamma 3 by 4, numerator cancel. Next, here you have 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2. Now, you have to simplify this. You see, friends, here you have 1 by 2 means gamma 1 by 2 means root pi. Root pi into root pi means pi by 2 times of 2 is 4. Here you have gamma 5 by 4. Gamma 5 by 4, how you can express this as 1 plus 1 by 4. Again in the numerator what I have? Gamma 1 by 4 divided by gamma 5 by 4. One second. This is you can write 1 plus 1 by 4. You have 1 plus n. Gamma of n plus 1 is nothing but n into gamma n. That is 1 by 4 times of gamma 1 by 4. Now this is pi by 4 times of 
gamma 1 by 4 asterisk. In the denominator, you can add this is 1 by 4 times of gamma 1 by 4. You see friends, this gamma 1 by 4 in the denominator and numerator cancel. And you have denominator 1 by 4 and numerator also 1 by 4. This is nothing more. Okay, if you are written here for 4, 4 getting answer. Then what is the final answer? Pi. See, this one only you have to prove. Yes. So what you have to remember? This formula you have to remember. How you can remember means by using the relation between beta and gamma. That's it. Is it clear for everyone? Thank you for watching this video.